So today I had the second lesson at the Norwegian course B1 BN using these two books Stein for Stein and today it was yet again good so this is my second uh, B1 lesson in Norwegian I got to I already knew where my classroom classroom is because the classroom is a fixed place so it was the same as uh, yesterday. I got to my classroom. I think I was one or two minutes late and uh, people were already uh, starting to uh, do some exercises. But uh, I mean, it's not a good thing that, uh, what I will say, but there was another person coming uh, after me. Yeah, she was like, uh, way later, like I think two two people came after me, uh, but that's uh, that's not a good thing. Uh, and uh, I, yeah, I try to be on point. I uh, yesterday I been through uh, homework, through the homework for today, and uh, yeah, it kind of went well. I wasn't able to finish all the exercises. There were four exercises and uh, two new uh, texts to read to knew about them because we had some uh, discussions, conversations between uh, us about uh, the content of this text. It went well. So uh, when I arrived in, in a classroom, people were discussing about a picture and it was uh, quite an interesting exercise. So uh, the idea was talk about what, what you see in this picture. Well, and uh, we had some um, questions to follow up, like to, to help us more. So uh, the, the, okay, the questions are actually in this exercise right here on the, on the bottom. So it's Vad snackar personer på bildet om? Vilka drömmer och planer har de? Vilka drömmer och planer har de för framtida? So it's uh, you have to create a story based on this image, thinking about what do you think they are talking about. Um, what are they planning to do, what they are dreaming about in the future and just build up some uh, some stories based on what you think and uh, what I thought because everyone of course were, was thinking they are uh, married, they are a couple, they are dreaming about uh, um, traveling, about having a house, having kids, uh, things like that and I, I just said um, Jag uh, tror de är icke uh, vänner. So I said, uh, uh, I, I think they're not friends. Uh, jag, jag, jag tänker um, hon liker icke han. Uh, men uh, han uh, liker hon. Och han uh, betalar på två kopp kaffe. Which means... Uh, they are not a couple, they are not friends, uh, she doesn't like him but uh, he likes her and he just bought two cups of coffee and anyway, uh, I mean I just tried to have a different uh, story for their, for the picture and it went quite uh, nicely, I think and uh, the course is, uh, it feels intensive as it is, as, it's, as uh, it says during the second lesson, we we went through the texts we had to read before uh, the lesson. So the two texts that I've read yesterday, this one with Gunnar Jobber for Saisal, and the other one with uh, Sara, our uh, student. Um, and there were some question. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm uh, mistaking. No, uh, th this one. Sara, our student, uh, and this one, Verdens Beste Bonus More. Um, 
the teacher said something really nice. I mean, I realized this and I think it's just easy to realize this. But in Norway we say bonus mor, which means extra mom. And there is also a word for uh, stepmother, uh, setmer, something like that. Uh, I'm missing the stemmer, stemmer. It's a stepmother, but the idea is that using bonus mer, it's a it's a word uh, that creates a positive context, and the stepmer is more like a negative. And uh, I think that's a nice thing to put things in perspective. Uh, let's say it like this. So we we had uh, discussions about uh, what happens here. We had some exercises, for example, like uh, um, circling the um, phrases that start with uh, verbs. What are what's the meaning of them? Uh, yeah, pointing to some different parts. Uh, that exists in a in a in a phrase. It it went quite well. We had uh, some uh, conversations between us, so we created uh, groups in classroom of two or three. Uh, they went uh, good. I I feel uh, I feel good that I I I have this opportunity to practice uh, Norwegian as it is on the lower level, but I just want to practice and go further so I can meet people and talk to people and uh, yeah get closer by just uh, yeah by, by language language uh, gets people closer to each other and uh, after after some exercises a lot of speaking uh, talking we had uh, another exercise that I don't have yeah no it's not this one so the teacher had the um, had an exercise on her uh, whiteboard um, with a text, not a text, a lot of text. <laughs> and uh, we had the uh, speakers, uh, some people, uh, how do you call it? We, there was a, a text that we can listen through some speakers and uh, just uh, follow the text on the whiteboard. And that was, uh, I mean, it's a classic exercise for learning a, a new language, but it was nice because after the text we had some um, questions and other than that, we, we also had some uh, speak uh, spoke text as questions, like for example, uh, hearing two people and uh, realizing from that context uh, what are they talking about and uh, a lot of uh, we had uh, to choose between uh, two statements about what they are doing there or what are they planning or whatever and uh, we discussed that and we also went through so just by hearing we had the this exercise and they, then we went through the text and it went uh, it went nicely i i liked it um, and we had different conversation while we were on the course about what was happening uh, in in this uh, text. That went uh, well. The, they gave us uh, okay, probably already seen. I'm trying to not show the the school around. Anyway, I'm not editing this, so they gave us some. Uh, structure so this table shows how uh, are parts of the phrase used in a, in a real uh, phrase in Norwegian and uh, yeah it, it wasn't that hard to understand but of course they are just easy examples to get in the classroom not necessarily uh, used in a common uh, conversation so I don't know how much it will uh, help okay um, and for tomorrow we have another set of five exercises ah and we we solved the i mean we went through the homework exercises and we we checked them we solved them uh, on the spot we discussed them it was a nice course 
So for tomorrow I have uh, six exercises plus two texts to read and I'm, uh, I'm going to read both of these uh, texts uh, right now if I get the page 26 so this is the text I'm going to put it on the screen anyway And uh, the other one is uh, this one. Tricks for new Nordmen, uh, tricks for the new Norwegians. So that was it, um, of course, yet again, tired, have to have to take a shower, relax a bit, uh, continue with uh, some of the exercises, at least try to read them, and we'll continue the next day. <laughs>